Mission Control is a cloud-based project management system that operates on the Salesforce.com platform. It is designed to provide you with all the tools you need to effectively manage all of your organization's projects. It is jam-packed with features to help you manage your projects no matter what methodology you use. During this demo we're going to take a look at some of the main features of Mission Control, starting with the Mission Control console. The Mission Control console provides quick launch access to all of the key areas of the system. These include rapidly creating and cloning project frameworks, creating new project members, logging time and expenses against projects, controlling digest options, viewing a project overview, rescheduling projects, viewing the virtual project whiteboard and controlling automation options. Within the Mission Control console I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a new project and a number of related milestones. You can simply type the name of the project and the milestone you wish to create. To create multiple milestones you can click to add a row. For this project I'm going to create four milestones for design, build, test and deploy. If I've made a mistake I can click a button to remove a row. I could also clone an already existing project and its milestones by using the pick list on the right hand side. Once I'm done I simply click the button to create the project and milestone records. As you can see I've now been directed to the edit page for the project record. Here I can assign a colour to the project. This will help identify actions for specific projects on the virtual whiteboard. A project can be assigned to a project owner and also related to account, contact and opportunity records. The project day rate can be based on a standard rate across the whole project or it can be based on an hourly rate of individual action owners. From the project details screen, if I click the create actions button, I can begin to create individual actions for each of my project milestones. I can simply select the milestone that I wish to create a new action for and complete the details including the name of the action, who the action owner is, the scheduled hours for the action and the scheduled start and end date. You can also create a task, event and also notify the action owner of the new action that has been assigned to them. Once again, I can add a new row and create multiple actions at one time. I can also remove rows if required. As you can see for my project, I've created multiple actions against milestones within my project. You can view all areas of a project, including the Gantt chart, milestones and actions from the project overview page. Simply select the project you wish to view from the console on the pick list and click view project. The mission control application integrates fully with Chatter. The project overview page displays details relating to the project including project completion percentages as well as financial information such as the cost forecasts. An interactive Gantt chart shows the progress of all milestones and actions for the project. Underneath the Gantt chart all milestones and actions are displayed. Conditional highlighting helps to identify overdue actions. Another great feature of Mission Control is the ability to effortlessly reschedule projects when your deliverable requirements change. Simply select the project from the pick list within the Mission Control console and click the Reschedule Project button. Here I am rescheduling the project by seven days. You can even choose specific milestones and action statuses to reschedule. Once you have clicked the button to reschedule, you will receive confirmation at the bottom of the page. With Mission Control, it is easy for project members to log time and expenses across multiple projects. You can click the Log Time button from the console. 
Here you can log time and expenses across multiple projects, milestones and actions, and for different action owners. Simply select the project, milestone and action and complete the details. You can add and remove rows as required. Once you are done, click Submit Time. An alternative way to log time is using the Timesheets feature. Here, project managers can view and manage all of their actions that are due within a given week. You can log time, view existing time logs, and add comments. Once you are done, click Save Timesheet. A project member may also be given the ability to manage other members' timesheets. After logging time using either of these methods, you can see, if we navigate back to the Project Overview page, that the project completion status has been updated along with the hours completed and the hours remaining. The project Gantt chart also reflects the progress on the project. Conditional highlighting once again shows completed actions at a glance. Mission Control includes a Gantt chart feature allowing you to view and edit any of your projects in a visual manner. You can make changes to an action simply by clicking on the action. As you can see, the Gantt chart has a very user-friendly interface with drag and drop action rescheduling capabilities. You can quickly create dependencies between actions, again using the drag and drop capabilities. Once changes are complete, simply save the project. Using the Gantt chart, you can create new milestones and actions by clicking on the plus symbol on the left hand side. The Mission Control Scheduler provides a calendar style view of action records. Once again, this feature is very user friendly. You can view details for a specific action by hovering. You can also utilize the drag and drop functionality of the scheduler. The scheduler can display actions for all projects or you can filter to a specific project and view by timeline or month. It enables you to reschedule and change ownership of any action, making it a very useful tool for capacity planning. A unique feature of Mission Control is the Virtual Project Whiteboard which provides you with a holistic view of all actions relating to current projects. All actions have their own sticky note which display key information including the action owner and their profile picture, the action, milestone and project name, start and end dates and scheduled and completed hours. Users can easily change the action status by dragging and dropping from one status to another. The whiteboard can be filtered by project, milestone, owner, date range or action. You can also log time against an action by clicking the clock symbol.
A risk log object allows you to manage risks relating to a project, milestone or individual action. The risk log allows you to specify the details of a risk, categorise it and determine the risk score based on impact and prob probability. All risk logs will appear in the project overview page. Get started with Mission Control today. Sign up for your free 14 day trial available from the App Exchange or find out more information at www.aprika.com.au forward slash MC.